What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and it's a beautiful Sunday. It's a little chilly, but we're actually here at the upper hand. Now, I wanted to come back to play some locals. It's 2024. I promised myself that I would get back into the local side of things, get back into competitive play. I am waiting until Phantom Nightmare to get a little bit more competitive, but in today's video, I wanted to bring back a retired deck. I was thinking of the decks that I could play. Could be Hero, could play Sword Soul, could play so many different things but I decided to go with Old Reliable. We're playing Dino Morphia today. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna actually bring Dino Morphia back out of retirement to play it at today's locals and find out how it can do in the brand new January 2024 format. So with that being said, let's get right in there, start filming some of the rounds and see how we do. All right guys, I'm gonna show you real quick what my deck list looks like. It's pretty standard like Dino Morphia stuff. I really just like this build. I think it's very solid, very powerful. I like defenders in the list and a ton of hand traps some ton of consistency so that's the main deck it's 40 cards in the main deck here's what the side deck is looking like this is my sauce for the brand new format and then you know standard standard extra deck over here and nothing too saucy today but i think it's gonna work well i just want to say big shout out to victor i forgot my play mat but he hooked me up with the uh pokemon play mat over here big shout out victor right over there right over there shout out victor alpha's also here say hi all right, that's, that's what I asked you to do, and you did it. He's playing today. Can you show them the sauce? What is the sauce? Okay, no, show me the actual sauce. Oh, wait, it's orchid. I got this deck. All right, so this is a great way to start round one. I have uh, the die, so everyone's playing. I'm getting some feature matches as well, but I have uh, the buy, so I have no idea what to do at this point. I feel like every time I come here, I get a buy. It's four rounds today. Technically, I'm 1-0, technically. And uh, so I guess I might as well spend some time figuring out what kind of cards I need. They have a ton of cards in the showcase, so might as well take advantage of my time that I'm here. Guys, we just completed a really fun deal. Shout out to Nathan. I just wanted to say thank you so much. No I've been I've been missing one of these, and you helped me out, so I appreciate you. The luck of the box. Thank you. All right, guys, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you for a second. So uh, we went from having a buy to having an X2 record. So we lost our back-to-back -back rounds, and I'm kind of just going to discuss them for you here real quick. And I'll probably put clips of the rounds as well. I have them on camera. So you guys are going to see some clips. But essentially what happened was our round two, we were playing against Horus Vampire, which is a deck that I never played against. So I had no idea what the deck wanted to do. So you're going to see in this round that we're playing up against a deck that I haven't honestly seen at all. So it's Horus mixed with Vampire, and I had no idea what any of the Vampire cards do. You guys are going to see that I make my standard Dynamorphia board, but I'm sitting there reading every single Vampire card and asking questions because I genuinely have no idea what these cards do. Now, typically, I think I know what the Horus cards do, and I'm kind of trying to play around those, and I let my opponent play a little bit too long. You guys are going to see that it is going to lead to some detriment because I'm letting him get too many bodies on the board. Now, in game two, you guys are going to see that I'm actually going to try to play around that. We'll get to that in a second, though. Here, you're going to see that he's able to make some really, really powerful board, but my last trap actually happens to be none other than Ferret Flames. So you guys are going to see me flip that, and I'm going to be able to shuffle away majority of his board, and then I'm going to take control of the game. The problem with that is the Horus cards keep putting themselves on the field. Now, when Horus cards keep putting themselves on the field, it makes it difficult because this deck inherently doesn't have ways to out monsters over and over and over again. Now, while I stopped him from making a board the first time, if he continues to put monsters on the board, it does become a little bit more difficult. Even though I do have the skill drain in Rexstrom, there are a lot of ways for him to continuously make boards over and over. So you're going to see I don't really have many plays here, and I'm actually going to end up losing because the Horus cards were just way too much for me to deal with. They kept coming back. They kept sending cards. There's just too much going on. Now, game two, you guys are going to see that I'm going to set up a very similar board, except he has Lightning Storm. So he goes Lightning Storm. I'm like, that's cool. I have the Zark. And then he actually ends up going uh, evenly match here, you guys are going to see. And because he goes evenly match, I'm left with the Synchro and the Ixies because I chose to keep the Zark. But it just wasn't enough because at that point, he got rid of my back row. He got rid of everything I had and he's just going to outgrind me. Unfortunately, I think I actually was able to win this game in the mid to late game, but I actually ended up losing to time. 
That sucks, man. Time, bro. It's good. It's cool. It's cool. I kind of, game one, let him play a little bit too much just because I wasn't sure where the correct area to hit was. And then game two, I uh, I knew a little bit more, but unfortunately, we went through the time. And then I actually had that game 100%. I, I hate to say it, when you're playing Morphia, you're playing into time all the time. And when you're playing into time, it does kind of suck. But... I would have had that game too, right? So the thing is, game one kind of, you know, he got it. And then game two, we lost some time. So that was that. And then round three, we were playing against Sword Soul. Now, game two of round three went a little like this. So essentially, I had the floodgates, but I didn't have anything to start my plays. And because I couldn't start my plays, uh, he just, you know, slowly beat me down. And you know, that's how that's how beatdown works. And uh, yeah, we're X2 right now. So unfortunately, we can't top. But don't worry, guys. It's fine. It was just an unlucky day. Round two, I had no idea what I was playing up against. And I had to learn that all on the spot. And then, um, yeah. Yeah. Listen, it was still a good day. We got an SP little night. We got some good duels in. And the best part is there is one more round. There's no like reason technically to play it, but I do want to play it because I still want to continue to learn the format more, learn more decks, etc., etc. And I mean, I didn't even play against current decks though, now that I think about it. But still, we're going to keep playing. Uh, Andrew's XO actually right now, so we'll see what goes on and we'll see if we can get some more trades going. Alright guys, I know I showed you the SP earlier, but these are some of the other trades that we've made. So a couple QCRs here, the Odd Eyes, two of the Jackalope, we even got the Summon Limit, this finishes my playset. And then we got some Kostra stuff here, and I'm doing this with one hand. So this is kind of all that I picked up today, a lot of the Malefic stuff. I do a lot of Malefic stuff on the channel, but I've never actually had the physical cards. Starting to grab these, and yeah, just a little bit of everything. So it's going pretty well, I would say. All right, guys, we're ending off today's vlog. We're actually at Untouched now. Uh, let me give you a quick recap. Also, Alpha came in second place. Woo! Woo! All right, yeah. So, quick recap before we go on to Untouched. We ended up playing our fourth round. It was against the Vanquish Soul. We ended up winning, but that was the round that didn't matter if I ended up winning or not. But the cool thing is, one, Alpha topped. Two, I have an SP Little Knight now, which is really nice. And three... I got back into locals, which is honestly what one of the, my biggest goals for 2024 was. Now let's step into Untouch and say hi to the guys. Let's let's say hi to everyone. Who's here today? Yeah, who's here today? Hi, right, Jordan. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna check this place out, see what they got, and then uh, I guess that's it for today's vlog thank you guys all for watching i always appreciate every single one of you i promise you guys again i said this earlier but i want to get back into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, and i think today was day one i'm slowly gonna start playing more meta tier decks i know i've always been known for the rogue stuff but i want to get away from the rogue stuff i want to get back to competitive spanko and i know we're gonna make it happen so i appreciate every one of you thank you guys all for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and with that spanko and second place alpha sign it out peace